Question. Do you guys think it's right for a guy who had failed uh, several PED tests uh, before scheduled to have a fight with Anthony Joshua? Do you guys think it's right that a guy like that is set to make his return this October, this September? Because Joe Miller has come out and said, you know, he's going to be officially returning to the sport of boxing this October, this uh, September. Uh, now, of course, just what? Two months ago? Two months ago, uh, he was popped dirty with several uh, drugs in his system. One of them was a testosterone, uh, you know, uh, male ho hormones, whatever, you know, to, to grow your fucking muscles, uh, you know, GHD. I, I, there were so many, I lost count. But a lot of people were saying that he, he should have he should have got banned for several months, even possible several years. But it's instead, it looks like he's only been banned for, what, uh, six months because he's going to be coming back this October. But even worse, it, there's rumors now that he might get a shot at Tyson Fury's lineal status. That's right. Tyson Fury's lineal uh, status because uh, I don't know about you guys, you guys, but it seems to me that Gerald Big Juicer Miller is trying to... Um, oh, I, sorry. I mean Gerald Big Baby Miller is trying to sign with Top Rank. And he has mentioned the fact that he would love to fight uh, Tyson Fury uh, for the lineal championship of the world. Uh, obviously, they even had like a little, they had a little chat. They, you know, met up. And uh, even Frank Warren is talk was talking about the possibilities of maybe, possibly, uh, Tyson Fury could be fighting uh, Jarrell Big Ma Baby Miller. But they would have to obviously wait and see. What happens with Miller? When is he able to fight? Now, Tyson Fury is set to fight this October. That's Every time I, I read a report, it's always the same thing. They always say the same thing. Tyson Fury is going to come back to box in October. October. Uh, and then after that, he's going to fight Wilder next year. So, uh, But first, he's going to fight in October. And the, the, the biggest... The, the guy I was hearing the most that he was going to fight in October was Kurat Pulov. Now, that's a fight that's easily... To be made because Kurat Pulov is also a top rank and he's also a heavyweight, so that's an easy fight to be made. But I thought that Kurat Pulov, the only problem I have with that is I thought Kurat Pulov was uh, the mandatory for the IBF strap. So I'm guessing maybe the, if Andy Ruiz goes on to face uh, Anthony Joshua, maybe the IBF sh strips Kurat Pull. I mean, maybe the IBF the IBF strips Andy Ruiz Jr. of the IBF strap, and then maybe Tyson Fury fights. Kurat pull it for the vacant IBF strap. That that could happen. That might be a possibility. But now, since they're talking about Jerome Miller, uh, maybe that happens. Man, can you imagine we hear in a, in a, in a few weeks' time, breaking news: Tyson Fury versus Jerome Miller for the vacant IBF strap and lineal uh, championship of the world uh, <laughs> uh, this October. Now, do you think that's fair? I personally would think it's bullshit. Uh, personally, I don't. Even if Joe Ron Miller just were to fight uh, Tyson Fury for the lineal status, I think that's really unfair for someone like Dillian White. Because once again, it seems like everyone gets these title opportunities but Dillian White. And the fact that they're talking about Joe Ron Miller possibly fighting, uh, you know, what's his name, Tyson Fury, is just like, it's making me think that's probably going to happen. And could you imagine that a drug cheat like Joe Ron Miller gets in there and gets the opportunity to win a lineal status? So, Many people don't really rank the lineal championship, but that is a, a status. If he does somehow beat, you know, if he does beat a Tyson Fury, he will be the lineal champion. So, again, I just think it wouldn't be fair to someone like Dillian White, considering that he, he's really the one who's earned a right to challenge a world championship at a world champion at heavyweight. Yeah, you got guys like Gerald Miller who was banned, uh, who was banned and suspended for taking drugs. Getting a title shot or opportunity to win a, you know, lineal championship against what's his name, Tyson Fury. I don't know. I personally think that his length, his ban should have been longer. I felt that he, you know, so I, I still don't get why he is not, you know. Well, I heard that it was because of it happened. It was going to happen in New York. That's why, and there was some whatever. But the point is, I felt that his ban should have been longer, and I definitely don't feel that he should be fighting for no, you know, title or anything like that. Uh, but what do you guys think of this about Joe Miller possibly fighting Tyson Fury? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'm out.